We are at Camp Rhino uh, Southeast in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we're gonna uh, throw down with the Underdog Athletics crew. And um, yeah, should just be a good time. It's good, good vibes. Um, it's always nice to get with athletes that are on a similar program, like-minded, and it just kind of helps uh, just feed and rejuvenate the motivation. Um, so I like coming down here at least at least once a year for a week, um, if not at some point, hopefully more. I gotta first get loosened up and warmed up because flying is just an absolute nightmare um, on my body and so everything is like my, my nerves are like on high alert. I got like some serious nerve pain going on right now so I gotta try and get that loosened up. And uh, then yeah, um, a lot of strength accessory work but we're gonna hit a uh, Metcon at some point with the uh, underdog crew and just kind of jump into their Metcon because it's kind of similar to what my Metcon is programmed. It's refreshing in my life because, right, like I don't think a lot of people get to see what he does or be around an adaptive athlete. Um, so it's really cool to get to see that and it makes you appreciate movement a lot more. I've seen adaptive athletes do rope climbs with one arm or with, right, no legs. There's regular people, full functioning people that can't do that, right? Like, that's pretty elite. They can definitely get to a performance level that's above a normal functioning person who just does CrossFit. Sure. You know what I mean? Like they can get to a different level for sure. So blown away by what he is like able to do um, and just his whole attitude behind training and behind competing and stuff like that. So to be able to like actually be a part of it for this open was super rewarding. So many other variables that he has to worry about and try to control um, that I think that like being able to see that firsthand, like, it just even further blew me away. The stuff that he's able to do, like, given his circumstance, is phenomenal as it is. And then, like, throwing, like I said, throwing in the, I mean, the fact that he's doing muscle ups, like, from a seated position, like, like that's just crazy to me. Like, that's just, that blows my mind. Um, but yeah, certainly they should be really athletes, yeah. First time we got to work out together and I was super pumped that he met me at the pool yesterday and we got our little active recovery in together and then it was really cool to see him crush that workout today. This was really the first time that I got to spend actual, you know, quality time with an adaptive athlete, have some super meaningful conversations and just learn like what Jedediah's mission is and like the I don't know awareness that he's trying to create and I was definitely educated a lot and learned a lot. Being an elite athlete is more about like the mindset and the effort that you're putting in. And so I think that no matter what level you're at or no matter what ability level you are, it's the effort putting in. And if you're putting in that full-time elite effort, like you're an elite athlete regardless. I got to know Jed last year um, and it was really, it was great for me because I, I, I didn't know a lot about, you know, that, that the adaptive division. I didn't know a lot about, you know, kind of the way he trains and, and what the workouts look like. Uh, so, so obviously since then, you know, 
um, underdogs. We, we have an app, uh, adaptive program now, and you know, so it's it's just really awesome to kind of tap into that world. And amazing. he's incredible, man, and 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 it's so inspiring to watch. And uh, it was really awesome for me the other day to you know to be able to, to kind of handle and 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 uh, yeah, it's, it's work. You got to be on it. You know what I mean? And make sure I'm not slowing him down. I didn't want to be the one to slow him down. And then being able to judge today was great. Um, you know, and and like I said, it's he's such a cool dude, but also just being able to watch him and, and, and be inspired by what he's doing is pretty awesome. What's most surprising or, or the stuff that you kind of forget about is like like in today's workout, you know, uh, the, almost the logistics of it, like getting out of the chair, getting back in the chair, where, where, where that has to be positioned. And then also like, you know, listen, I mean, you know, not being able to, to use his legs, like, you know, I just kind of take for granted, like, oh, you just set up under the rings. Well, no, like, you know, he's move a leg, move a leg. And it's just, um, you know, being able to watch that and just being able to see kind of even, you know, what he's got to go through in every single workout. Um, you know, and he just, he does it now, like, you know, it's just second nature to him, man. And it's, it's, it's just stuff that we, you know, able-bodied, we just take for granted, you know, and, I, I, you know, but also just, he's a phenomenal athlete, regardless of whether it's adaptive or not, you know what I mean? Like, he's just a good athlete. And, you know, he probably kicked my ass on that workout. <laughs> like, you know, just like if I had to do the same thing, I, I'm sure I'd get my ass kicked. So I don't look at it as, you know, well, he's a great adaptive athlete. No, they're just great athletes. You know, I just, just hope that, that we just keep, you know, the visibility of, of the adaptive, of all the adaptive divisions. We just continuously hope that they continue to get more and more visible and, uh, and that there's more and more opportunities for adaptive athletes. Justin, what's up, brother? What's up, dude? Hey, uh, can you help me grab my sports chair real quick? Oh, dude, yeah, for sure, man. Man, I'm gonna be so glad when I get my actual new fitness chair. What's, like, what's different about it? Uh, well, for one, the sport, the chair I have now is not an actual sports or fit chair. It's uh -huh. a modified basketball chair. They didn't have sports chairs back then. Um, and so it'll actually be more like a normal chair, like the wheels aren't off camber. Oh, like um, bowed out like that? Yeah. I won't have to have two chairs when I make these trips because I can actually get in that chair because the, the fifth wheel or the, the anti-tipper is removable. Oh, so that's I can sweet. take it off and pack it to the gym and actually just use one chair. And it's just basically a more like a real chair with just a reinforced frame. So oh, heck yeah, dude. much more functional for a lot of different workouts. And so, yeah, it'll be nice. Dude, that's sweet. Let's go get it.